Hello, the audience. The series is finally coming to an end. Uh, I looked up where to get the next biggest quiver, by the way, just in case we wanted to do that. And apparently it is at the horseback archery range. I have no interest. And then there was the Bombchu Bowling Alley, but once again, I I don't want to. <laughs> this game's awesome, and I want to do more of it forever, but uh, I'm not too psyched about, you know, aiming Bombchus or... Anything to do with archery, I'm pretty sure 40 arrows is enough. So, right. We're making our way to, uh, Final Dungeon. Good lord, this game looks fucking cool. <laughs> wow. I've decided I'm definitely playing Majora's Mask after this. Uh, also... <coughs> just a really giant skull here. I, I think that's been worked into some Zelda theories as to what the fuck this is. I have no idea. Maybe it's implied to be a Moblin? Or, yeah, a Moblin, I think is what those are. What, Navi? We have to save Princess Zelda from her imprisonment in Ganon's castle. You could just put that at any point in the game, really. I mean, whatever, Zelda's chic or whatever. But... Not a zero. Can you hear me? It's Raru the Sage. It's Raru the Sage. <laughs> We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganondorf's tower, is protected by six evil barriers. <laughs> Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. <laughs> this is really fucking cool. Which you can just... Whoopsies. Ow. Shit, they modeled all the way down there. Oh, you're not making me watch that cutscene again. Okay, thank God. <laughs> so yeah, this rainbow bridge is just here now. So if you leave and come back, it'll just be here. That was really cool. F fuck these boots. Okay, right. Anyway, yeah, I plan to do Majora's Mask after this. I think I want to either read the Majora's Mask book as I do the series, or read that book first. And I think I'm going to do as the series. Sort of how, like, I watched a bunch of videos on Ocarina of Time uh, before and during what, uh, making this series, so I could get as thorough of an experience out to you guys as humanly possible. And can I just walk over here? Ooh. I've never been over here. Can I go around this pillar? No. Very much no. Whoa. There's no backside of that rock. I'm gonna fuck around with this for a second. Um, just bear with me here. <laughs> if, you, if you can't go to the right, then I, I just want to see that left bit again. It's not like I'll get a chance to see it in post or anything. I can go right. Alright, what's over here? Definitely nothing this way as well. But, ooh, oh, more something though. So what's over there? Alright, more rocks. Okay. Um... Okay, okay, here we go. No! No! Oh, god damn it. Alright. <laughs> I'm on the verge of an Easter egg. If I round this corner and the game just warps to the credits, that would be amazing. <laughs> it would mean nothing for speedrunning, but, you know, it would be fucking cool. I don't know, I'd just <laughs> round the corner and get a jetpack. Yeah. Oh, it's invisible! Oh, you pricks! Oh, come on! That would have been fun! Alright, I want to see... I'm going to go around to the other side. I'm going to die one more time. Uh, but I need to see... Oh! Whoa! That's cool. Oh, there's like a solid bit of rainbow. Anyway. I, I want to see if... Uh, they actually didn't model the other side. They didn't! Wow! That's cool. Okay. Yeah, cool. Alright. Actually, going into the castle now. I'm not putting this off. I definitely put off uploading, uh, or making this video, because I don't want this series to end, and I love this series, and the series is fucking awesome, and I got a figurine just for the series, and it's so good. Um, yeah. Also, I've been working on my, what is definitely my biggest project yet. Uh, and it's, I don't know, I want to say at least a year off actually happening. Um, because... Jesus, or at least, like, I don't know, it's a series of videos, I plan to make 10 videos in the series, or maybe 11, 
Fuck. Alright. Uh, fuck you. Is that gonna kill you? Yes it is, get fucked. Oh, beamless are terrible. Okay. Okay, so we have these six uh, evil barriers with a with a um, symbol above each one. So, which one do we want to do first? That symbol has a giant thing in front of it. Um, I guess we'll just do them in order, right? Forest temple first. I assume we'll need the bow for this. Ah, hello. I don't know why blocking is even a thing with this sword. I've brought that up before, but whatever. Oh, fuck off. Uh, there we go. Up the volume by one stage. Did not seem loud enough. And there is a torch up there. So, right. Need a uh, din spell. And... Oh, wait, no. I want that to be there. Din's fire. There we go. Now! Nice. Ah! Right. Why'd I take off the hover boots? What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh yeah, combat. Uh, anyway, we have fans. So how do we grab this? Well, it's very simple. You walk over, and then ta-da! To save you go. This game's awesome. Okay, now I have to get a run-up with bombs here. I suppose I should make conversation rather than just commentary about the game. I mean, what fucking... <laughs> what fucking commentary channel would ever make commentary about the actual game? Um, WandaVision just came out, and that's as good as I was hoping it to be. Um, if... No! Did that reset my progress? It did. Ah, uh, it totally fucking did. God damn this game. Anyway. They only have two episodes out right now, but it is, uh... Oh my god, it is a theorist dream and or nightmare, depending on how you how much you like doing your job. <laughs> and yes, I don't care if it's a hobby, theorizing is always a job. Um, the second you start drawing shit is the second that you are doing a job. And, uh, yes, I'm, I'm counting people that draw for a living. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> god, fuck this. I'm dying. Oh my god. And I have uh, one blue potion left. Well, whatever, at least I'm low on magic, so it's not like this is going completely to waste. Okay, although I do have rupees, so I could go out and buy more, but why would I do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, bombs. Yay! Ooh, this game's slow. There's a lot of menus. I'll give my thoughts on the first two episodes of WandaVision. First of all, there's only two episodes out right now, so... Um, you know, patterns aren't necessarily inherent. Maybe there's one or two things that only happen in the first two episodes. I doubt it. Uh, but, you know, maybe... Okay, my plan is to jump over. Hooray! Okay. <sighs> now... What? Okay. Let's wait for the fans to stop. Good, that fan stopped. What does this do? I'm gonna assume I need the hook shot now. Because you need the hook shot to get into the dungeon this room is based off of. Yeah! Wow! There's not even a cutscene of this, like, showing up. So I wonder... If it just appears rather than like rising. Oh, I don't like not having the hover boots on. It's really nerve wracking. Uh, <laughs> and it's nerve wracking with them on. Platforming in this game is rough. It doesn't really demand anything super serious of you, but it shouldn't be this bad anyway. <laughs> okay, right, so this is an orb that you have to shoot with a light arrow. And that's what the light arrows do. <laughs> and then they're just very awkwardly posed like that. The forest barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, not a zero. <laughs> just 
standing, floating in the air, 45 degree angle. I don't know, that's cool. That effect is also awesome. Woo. Nice. Okay, next dungeon is the fire one. Not the water one, although the water one... Yeah, yeah fire then water, because the blue tunic comes afterward. Okay. I don't know why they're not laid out like that. Maybe you're just supposed to go right all the way around, but... Yeah, this... I Again, the more and more I think about it, I think the end of this game is a bit rushed. Because, like, I don't know, I feel like it would have been, I don't know, put together just better. Right, you need... Can you stop interrupting me with that message? I'm pressing start. There we go. Oh, okay. I can say pause in this at this point in the series. It's fine. Um, oh, wow, that looks weird. Oh, yeah, fun fact. Um, never mind. I guess. Uh, <laughs> I think in the it's yeah in the 3DS version, uh, if you have the hover boots on on that platform, it doesn't go down. Every other platform it goes down on. Um, but uh, on the 3DS version specifically, that platform. Oh, right. I can't actually be here yet. Um, I suppose we'll get back to this then. So maybe we should just go right and around rather than doing them in the order I want to do them in. But whatever. Uh, yeah, you you have to come back to this one. Let's keep the red tunic on for now, because it kind of looks cool. A uh, bit of variety that we don't usually get. And I already don't like it. Uh, <laughs> oh, much better. <laughs> okay. I haven't actually talked about WandaVision. <laughs> it's fucking good. What do you want me to say? Uh, it's much better than all the other Marvel shows. I mean, DC's got fucking nothing now. Uh... Considering that was a main thing, is people saying, like, oh, well, Marvel movies are better, but DC shows are better, therefore they're equal. And I'm like, no, Marvel is better now. Uh, but, yeah, now that Marvel is making better shows, uh, get fucked, DC. You mean nothing to me. I'm not even going to fall for that one. I'm just going to... Yeah. It's... Like, every scene in that show can probably be dissected for hours, and there's... I don't know. I've got my own theories. My theory is like the beekeeper is actually a guy in a hazmat suit and it's all metaphor in that scenario and she turned an actual helicopter into a toy. Anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that because if that's right, hell yeah, I'm a genius. Oh, speaking of being a genius, I think I fucked this up. I think you're supposed to put, yeah, you're supposed to push this one in there. And, uh, the other one... Was, well, we have to go back for blue fire anyway, but I think you're supposed to push the other one to that hole, and then the first one you have to use its current positioning to use as a platform later. Okay. Weird that this is just the ice cavern and nothing to do with the water temple. But we'll see. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Push it this way. <laughs> I, wait, hold on. Does the slidey effect multiply when I have the hover roots on, or is it just the same amount? It's the same amount, wow. You have no excuse to not wear the hover boots while in Ice Cavern. You have no excuse to have the hover boots in Ice Cavern, but, you know. If you somehow had them, then use them, I guess. Yeah, it's it's definitely not possible. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Epic slide. Well, okay. Hold on. No. Well, bomb hovering. <laughs> okay. Trying to figure out how to sequence break to get these incredibly useless boots early. <laughs> If you want to know my method, all you have to do is, uh, I suppose it'd have to be on the 3DS version, but, yeah, on the 3DS version, get the, uh, or no, you don't even need the Lens of Truth, don't worry about it. Just, uh, just, as adult Link, just bomb you hover into the temple, beat it to the point where you can get the boots, and then, you know, move on. Why did I need that hammer for this room? That's not thematic. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever.
It is not whatever. It is the fact that I believe this, the ending of this game is rushed. Oh yeah, I should probably show off what's in these pots. Oh, there's a heart in that one. Usually there's, yeah, magic and arrows in these. So. Ta-da! Oh, hey, I forgot you looked like that as an adult. Uh, <laughs> the water barrier is dispelled. Hurry up. Okay. Probably could have read your text faster if I knew it was going to auto-progress. And the same effect as last time. Ooh. Nice. Oh, fuck. I think this next room is probably my least favorite room in the game. Yes, it is. Oh, hurrah. Uh, it's not even like everything about this is bad. It's one thing. It's two things, maybe. I don't know. All right, so there's nothing here. You have to light that torch on the other side first. And so it's just a timed thing. All right, now here's the thing that I really hate. These last platforms are slightly lower. Yeah, that. <laughs> and, and that platform. That platform is also slightly lower. Those are two things that are annoying as hell, but that's not it. It is this like like that is the worst enemy in the game. Because if it sucks you up, it will take your tunic, and it will take possibly your Hylian shield if you have that equipped, and uh, a couple rupees, obviously. And then it will chuck you just straight off the fucking cliff, and it reloads the room, and all of your items are gone. So you have to go then leave the dungeon completely. And then come back after you bought a new tunic, which, um, I suppose if you're wearing the blue tunic, it's fine. But the blue tunic's the one that looks good and is fun to wear. That is so fucking annoying. If I, if I didn't know that was a thing, that would irritate me to no end. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and then you would have to, if you're wearing the, uh, the Goron's, uh, tunic then it's required to beat the, um, the, the fucking Goron room, which you're not going to do till later because you need an item first. An item that you get in this room. So, like, oh my fucking god. That like-like is put in the worst possible place. It's just, it's designed almost meticulously, although I wouldn't be, I wouldn't doubt it if it was an accident. Like, it feels like it's intentionally designed to fuck you over, steal your Goron's tunic, and then you can't progress. You have to go and come back, and you can't buy it unless you have the biggest wallet, which means <laughs> there's a very good chance that you get thrown off, and then you have to leave and collect a bunch of Skulltullas. Oh my god, that room. Okay. I'm pretty sure there was a closer torch that I could press, but, um, press? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I slightly spoiled the fact that there was an item in there. Oh yeah, there's a torch over there. But whatever, this is this dungeon does have a dungeon item, and this is what we have here. Yeah, you got the golden or you found the golden gauntlets. Uh, you feel even more power coursing through your arms. So yeah, now we've got gold on our arms. And now this is the setup I like to have. Well, usually with the uh, light arrows in the left spot and then the down spot having the um Nehru's Love spell. Uh but you know. We'll do that on the final boss, because those are both useful. So, can you just hit this with a fire arrow? I doubt it. I wonder if you can just hit it with a regular-ass arrow. No, it's going to be a light arrow. All right. <laughs> Kapow! Okay. Yeah, what's up, brother? Oh, it was red. I thought this was the Goron one. I'm stupid. The Shadow Barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. You got it. I don't know why you're all... Like, glowy and floaty like that. It's I don't think the Sages and like any other Zelda game can do that. It's very bizarre. <laughs> okay, right. So we need to leave now because this uh, these gauntlets now open up one last thing that we can do in the overworld and then we'll come right back to the dungeon and then finish it next episode. It's not like we're ending the episode and this is not going to take 10 minutes but 
you know, this, and then probably one or two more rooms in the dungeon, and then the last episode starts, and then I have to say goodbye to this series. <laughs> Which is... I always get super sentimental at the end of series. I wonder why. Um, but, like, it's so fucking... I'm just so proud of what I've done at, by the end of it. Like, I'm so excited to start the new thing, and then I do that new thing, and then I'm proud of the end product, and then two more series later, I was like, wow, that series actually really fucking sucked. Why did I do every single episode while someone was doing the dishes in the background? Okay, very specific example. Point is, fucking giant pillar with a, I think, Muslim symbol on it. Let's just ignore that. Uh, I imagine let's change the 3DS version. <laughs> Same symbol on the shield. But... Yeah. Yeah, if you've ever seen that old Game Theory episode about why this Link is one of the strongest, it's fucking that. So I don't know why my gloves being yellow allowed me to fucking throw that, but it did. So let's not worry about it. And the final Great Fairy's Fountain. Yep, this is this is the sixth. But you didn't notice. You probably noticed. It's so weird how like four of them are at the very beginning of the game, and the last two are at the very end of the game. Again, this game has weird pacing problems. Not as bad as Gen 4 of Pokemon, but pretty bad. I'll talk about Gen 4 of Pokemon. I wonder if the remake will fix that. <laughs> Pokemon fixing something. Anyway, welcome, Nata Zero. I am the Great Fairy of Courage. I'm going to enhance your defensive power. Receive it now. So I can get him straight to the point. No flavor text or anything. Oh, that is a weird effect. Ooh, our hearts outlined in white. All right, so that's another thing. That's like, you know, you see your older brother playing this, and he has those hearts. And you're like, how the fuck do I get those hearts? And he never tells you because he's a dick. And then you figure it out on your own years later, and you're like, aha, that's how he did it. Not an actual example. I'm the older brother. Anyway, uh, <laughs> my younger brother doesn't even like these games, so, you know, just... Okay, whatever. Moving on. Uh, the defensive power has, uh, your defensive power has been increased. Damage inflicted by enemies will be reduced by half. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. I won't. I have potions for that. Well, I had potions for that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we now take half as much damage, which that combined with, um, I don't know, something. Is there another thing that allowed us to take half as much damage? Oh, yeah, I, w I was, yeah, because I, I thought the, uh, I thought Nehru's love reduced your damage by half, but it just makes you completely invincible. So this really doesn't matter as long as you have Nehru's love active. Um, unfortunately, while you do have Nehru's love active, you can't use light arrows. So it's actually not a good idea to use that on the final fight. That's an amazing balancing trick. Okay, wow, look at that. Because you need light arrows to defeat Ganon, as you do in every game. Uh, well, not every game. Probably. See, I, I can only really think of games that either have light arrows that you need to defeat Ganon, or games that just don't have Ganon in them. Uh, I can't think of a single game where you defeat Ganon without light arrows. Probably because I just... There probably exists one that I just haven't played. Okay, so now we can do this, and let's not have Navi bark at us. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, so much. Yay! Is there... A, there's gotta be one over here. Like, why would the spirally... fire bit be here if there wasn't something over here? Oh! That's what it was! Uh, there's, there's another thing in this room where if you, uh... wear regular boots, this starts sinking. And if you wear hover boots, you walk light enough that it doesn't sink. It doesn't start sinking, it does sink. But anyway, now... Also, you can see I took a quarter of a heart of damage when I, uh... Got hit by that fire there. Oh, there is one over there! I mean... I didn't think that just existed for no reason. That would be weird. Okay, we can chuck this across the room. I think you only do this three times. <laughs> and they dedicated an entire item to it. Whatever, this game is pretty small. I mean, small scale nowadays. Back then it was... Much... It wasn't bigger back then, it was just, uh, you know... Bigger comparatively. So. Rel relatively, that's the word. 
Okay. Yeah, relative to like Mario 64, which I think... Mm. Oh, I wonder. I've always been fascinated in like doing measurements of the size of a game. You know, like square footage. Just to see how big a game actually is. Um, I first like got interested... Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. I have to... Oh. Alright, whatever. Um, I, I first had that thought when I was playing Return to the Overdin, because I was wondering, like, if you measured out the square footage of every deck of the ship and every time you uh, go into a memory, like, counting, e like, those decks in each memory as separate spaces, how, like, how much space that would take up and how, like, big it is compared to other games, despite being on one boat. Um... So yeah, I, I could imagine myself doing that with other games as well. Like, probably... Mario 60... I don't know, that's... It would get boring kind of quickly. That's why I would probably never make a video on it. Um, or if I were to make a video on it, I'd just do one video rather than a series of them. Um, but it would mainly be just measuring abstract games like uh, Mario 64, where it's not obvious that how to measure the square footage. Because, you know, each sub-area and then, you know... Each secret area as well. Whatever. But it would be pretty boring pretty quickly. It would be fun for like two games maybe at the most. Like Return to the Oberdin and then like GTA 5. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, GTA 5 would be fun. Because like one game is abstract and you have to add stuff. And then the other game is very literal. You just, you know, put each thing in there. Oh my fucking god. I am never leaving this room. This room is the fucking worst. I ignore the Shadow Temple one. I am doing that one first. Oh my fucking god. See, see the worst part is I think it would have saved had I actually picked that up. And I... Oh. And yes, hover roots make platforming easier. This game is just fucking impossible. <laughs> I've done a terrible job at proving that this game isn't the worst. Uh, whatever. <laughs> It's not like Majora's Mask is going to be any better. There have been... I see that... Uh, there have been so many more series on why Majora's Mask is the best Zelda game rather than why Ocarina is the best Zelda game. Because it's widely considered that uh, uh, Majora's Mask is the better Zelda game. Despite the fact that this somehow got a higher rating? I will never understand that. Okay, okay, okay. I made it. Kind of freaky, because I didn't adjust the camera, so I didn't actually know where I was walking, but whatever. Okay. Uh, let's go for this one first. Because this one's the harder one. Because I've, well, fucked this one up before. Ooh, I, okay. Uh, I can make it! That was a bad idea. <laughs> Don't put me in a cutscene. Douchebag. Oh. <sighs> Also, douchebag for having a fucking long shot mark over there. It's a hook shot mark, whatever. Hook! <laughs> okay. Pow! Oh, fucking finally done with that god awful room. Let me out. Alright, let's do one more room and then the next episode will start. <laughs> or I'll end this episode. Why not both? Ye Wow, what was that? <sighs> okay, this is the Goron dude. Oh, that arrow placement, I am so sorry. The fire barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, brother. Oh, no. Oh, where that arrow was. Oh, where that arrow was. <laughs> I did not know that could happen. I... Is that a glitch? Kind of like the Smash Brothers thing where Link's arrows can sometimes glitch out. Alright, whatever. Okay, going to the right. Wait, is this the light barrier? Oh. So we just walk in and play the Song of Time or something? <laughs> so yeah, this is the only other time I think you throw stuff. And it's a cool one! Yeah! The items I'm wearing are now completely useless. <laughs> okay. 
Ah, fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> you had 50 rupees. Wow, look at that. I was about to say. Alright, so that has a bat on it. No bats. Okay, I'm just gonna fucking snipe him. Now, some would say this is a waste of magic power, but I say fuck off. No, it isn't. Keys are annoying enough that they deserve the wrath of God. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure all of those chests attack you in some fashion. Oh, you do. Oh, that's all the lullaby now, the Song of Time. Maybe I do need to play the Song of Time. I don't know. Nope. Okay, weird puzzle. I mean, I suppose that uh, this is just a room dedicated to a temple that wasn't in the game. <laughs> so, fair enough with uh, these very bizarre decisions. Oh, Shiza. Okay. I hate you. Oh, are they rolling in the same direction? Like, consistently paced? That's nice. Oh yeah, they are. Wow, I essentially just have one long boulder to avoid. Uh, I am guessing I'm supposed to get up there in some way? Nice! Okay, now what? Oh! Hookshot, right. Okay. <laughs> had to think three-dimensionally here. Okay, so this is a really fucking cool room, by the way. This is a good example of why 3D is like a step forward for Zelda. It's a very well-designed room, and that is a very weird glitch. Oh yeah, whoa, the thing's already gone. Whatever could I do? Yep. Anyway. <laughs> I kind of like that. That was a fun area. Just because, like, oh no. I don't know. Very simple puzzle makes you feel clever for a second. Because you fumble around the room eventually. Okay, whatever. Sup, Raru? I'm the only one that remembers what your name is. Everyone just says the owl dude, or just this dude. And Link's earrings look silver now. Huh. The light barrier is dispelled. Hurry, okay. Well then, how many barriers do we have left? Do we even have enough time for the next episode? <laughs> uh, yes, we do. Oh yeah, there's only one room left, and then... Ooh, okay. Well, next episode will probably be mostly credits. Like the GTA 5 one. Fuck me, GTA 5 was a long ass time. Okay. Alright, for the penultimate time. Good night, everybody. One, two, three.